agriculture system. Yeah, definitely organic farming is an agriculture system that works in harmony, some peace in nature. Organic farming means if you're growing fruits or vegetables in your garden without any pesticides or chemicals. That is called farming. That is called organic farming. If you're growing any vegetable, fruit or any leafy vegetable or anything without pesticides or chemicals. But you ask me, this fertilizers come also, uh, this fertilizer fertilizers is also like pesticides, then I'll say no. Because fertilizers are made of no chemicals, mainly fertilizers are made of onion water or any good substitute that helps the plant grow. India rank first in number of organic farmers in ninth in terms if area under organic farming. Sikkim became the first state in the world to become fully organic and the other states including Tirpura, Uttarakhand have similar targets have set similar targets. Northeast India had traditionally been organic and the consumption of chemical is less than the rest of the country. The major organic exports from India have been flax seeds, sea seed, soybean, tea and medicinal plants and rice and pulses. And the size of the Indian organic food market is rupees 100 crore. Number of organic food farmers in India are 570,000. Sikkim has become India's first fully organic state, converting around 75,000 hectares of, the, of agricultural land into sustainable cultivation. Madhya Pradesh has declared many of its uh, villages as organic. And there was an increase of nearly 50%. In organic exports in uh, 2018 to 19, not just one year before 2020. So, the in organic exports in 2019 to in 2018 to 2019, touching rupees 5, uh, 5,000 and uh, 5,151. So even I made a public interview on the farmers thing so you can go and check that out too. So now what are the advantages of the organic farming? So the advantages are economical, good return on investment, high demand, nutritional, and environmental friendly. And you may know that the organic foods are produced in smaller amount faces, challenge of incessant marketing and distribution to, um, to meet the demand of world's population. So, of course, if there are advantages, so of course, there must be even disadvantages. Because, of course, uh, for example, if you're eating junk food, so the advantage is it tastes good and you like it, but and the disadvantage is that it's not healthy. So, like that, everything has their advantages and, dis and disadvantages. Like, what does now, uh, now what does organic farming have disadvantages? So, of course, many farmers know about the disadvantage, uh, the, what, what is the loss, what is the failure in the in the farming. So the failure is like uh, many months ago there was a news that locust attacks on crops and uh, they attacked on the farmer lands and you can may say agricultural lands. They attacked and the, all the crops were like dead, they were destroyed and of course even a few weeks ago there was a news about the heavy uh, the heavy unseasonal rain that happened in uh, uh, that happened in farmers land where the all the crops the potatoes the beans and all the crops drowned in the water so yeah there's the disadvantages on farming also on this and even sometimes your crops fail sometimes they're like your crops doesn't come sometimes they get dried so yeah there is just advantages even in the uh, for economic even in this economical this uh, on this organic farming
Yeah, so there are advantages and disadvantages on the both the sides of the organic farming. So now we'll talk about uh, the, the government on organic farming. So this statement, which we are going to talk about right now, is about uh, 18, September, 18 September 2020. So what did Agriculture Post News said about the government on the organic farming? So it is written that the government of India provides assistance for promoting organic farming across the country to different schemes. Parampraghat Krishi Vikas Yojana promotes cluster-based organic farming with PGS, Participatory Guarantee System. Certification 31,000 is given as incentive to a farmer towards organic inputs. So now we are going to talk about what we learned, what we talked, I mean what we talked in today's video. So what we talked is about uh, the what is organic farming and disadvantages and the advantages of organic farming and of course we give a big definition of organic farming and of course we even learned about the history too well, right? Am I right? Yeah, of course. You understood. And of course, we even talked about the government uh, schemes on the organic farming. So, that's all for today's video. And of course, if you understood, let me give you a small definition before ending this video. So, what the government say, uh, the government schemes. So, they are, what is organic farming in a simple definition, very which you can understand really easily. So, uh, the simple definition is that, uh, like, uh, now, whatever you learned, we're just going to take a small recap, okay? So, we talked about the or what is organic farming. Organic farming is any fruit or vegetable which grows without any pesticides or chemicals. And now, what is the government on the uh, on the organic farming? So, the government of India provides assistance for promoting the organic farming uh, across the whole country through different different schemes. And Parambhangat Krishni Krishi Vikas Yojana promotes cluster-based organic farming with PGS, full form is participatory guarantee system, and the certification is 31,000. It's given as in, in, uh, is given as incentive to a farmer towards organic inputs.